because they told me I needed to be clean up here. And I just started off talking about Mike Cox. But that's his name, right? I can say that, right? I can say that. Hey, hey I survived middle school. You survived. Right. That's but right. will you survive Lone Star College? That's what I want to know. Yeah, because he's got me. That's really cool with, with you talking to the girls, though. What's your name, Mike Cox? <laughs> Bet. <laughs> A round of applause. How many of y'all from New World, uh, New uh, Louisiana? Clap for you from Louisiana. Okay, I'm gonna need y'all to check your weapons at the front. <laughs> Please. Uh, we want this to be a safe show for everybody. Um, clap if you're from the north side of Houston. Clap if you're from the north side. Of Louisiana people finish checking their weapons, could you please check your weapons yeah. on the north side? Anybody here from the southwest side of Houston clapping from the southwest? Yeah. See, I can, I can tell because they have good subject verb agreement right there. Most <laughs> people grew up in the verbs with me. That's real. Anybody here from the islands clapping you're from the islands? That's what I thought. Okay, Galveston doesn't count. <laughs> Talk about the Caribbean. The Caribbean. Uh, okay, clap if you like reggae music. If you like reggae music. I like, I like reggae music. My parents are from, my mom and my stepdad are from Trinidad. My biological father's from Sierra Leone. It's really cool having that heritage in me, you know, because I can do the accent and stuff. You know, when I'm talking to ladies, like, what's your name, sweetie? Mel. Bell, how you doing? Mel. Oh, Mel. Yes. Nice to meet you, Mel. See, like Mel thinks I'm just a regular brother right now, right? <laughs> Mel, you ever been at the club? You talking to a dude, and then they start playing his favorite song, and he loses his mind. <laughs> I'm that dude. I'll be talking to you just regular, like, hey, how you doing, Mel? So you got your red stockings on in the summertime? That's okay. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Then they start playing some reggae music or whatever. So you got your red stockings on in the summertime. Just okay. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Welcome to Jam Rock. Cop where the tugs them come back. Two pound of weed in a bun back. Get in your hand back. Not sack it in your butt back. Smell like your girlfriend can't tag. Y'all like that? Y'all like that? Yeah. Already. Mel's sitting like, ooh. <laughs> Sound just like a Jamaican. Is that how you figured that out? Did you grew up in that household with the Trinity folks? I'm like, no. I looked that up on Google now. I don't know what the hell he's saying. I on Google. <laughs> Mel's taking dating advice from the white chick over here. <laughs> she's engaged, so I it's think like, she's got it. Smart. You, should, you should go for it, Mel. <laughs> really? What's your name, sweetie? Yeah. Joe, how you doing? Hi. And what's your name? Kayla. Kayla? So y'all are engaged? Yeah. Give it up for Joe and Kayla, baby! Yeah. Oh. 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 Young love! It's a clean show, so that's all y'all can do is kiss. No. <laughs> Nothing else, man. Nothing else. <laughs> So uh, I'm trying to, I just want to learn a little bit more about y'all. Like, what do you any any engineering? Like, what kind of they have two year programs or four year programs here? Like, what is it? Two. Two years. So we like, what are y'all studying? Like, rad tech. Ad tech. Rad tech. Rad tech. Rad tech. Oh, you logical tech. Okay. What are you studying? ASL. ASL. American Sign Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I like to talk with my hands a lot, so. I hope I don't say nothing offensive. <laughs> I'm, just mess, you know, I'm just messing around. This is cool, man. I like performing for young, energetic people. You have your whole life ahead of you. Hopefully, you'll make some money. If, you, if you're going to do comedy, I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to be broke. <laughs> broke. Didn't realize how broke I was until uh, last year they cut the gas to my house on the coldest day of the year. Oh, fun. No, not fun. Man, I'll tell you, tell you like, you know, when I like to date, I like to date women with a certain height to weight ratio, you know what I'm saying? Thick, you know what I'm saying? Pretty in the face, you know what I'm saying? But when they cut the gas to your house, you be looking at girls completely different. You be looking at looking at Mel be like, yeah. She look like she paid all her utilities. Electricity is sexy. 
right? Trying to holler at Mel. Mel's like, like we go out, try to try to get back to her crib on the first night. Not my crib, her crib. She's like, mm, mm, Rich, you can't have these cookies. I don't know you like that. I'll be like, Mel, I ain't trying to get your cookies. I just want to take a hot shower. What's up? That's all I want to do. Zoom, 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 zoom in your bathroom. y'all a little dating advice, fellas. You know, when you uh, holler at a chick, you want to make sure she understands broke terminology. Uh, you know what I'm saying? This your girl right here? What's your name, bro? Peter. Peter. What's your name? Samantha. Samantha. Peter. Does Samantha, when y'all are going to the movies, does Samantha know what you mean when you say, hey, baby, bring the big purse? <laughs> huh? You don't talk about the big purse, right? <laughs> Sweet. Uh, <laughs> Look, Peter knows what I'm talking about. Because he ain't finna pay $5 for Juju Bees and Skittles. Uh -uh. No. Peter's stopping at McDonald's. All the way to movie. You get four McDoubles, right? Four McDoubles. That's what I like to call dinner for two. All right? And notice I said McDoubles, not double cheeseburgers. Because the double cheeseburger, they're trying to stick that extra slice of cheese on there and charge you an additional 42 cents. <laughs> Samantha, you don't need that extra slice of cheese for your love to work with Peter, right? You don't need that, right? Or better yet, we only gonna go to the movies on Tuesday nights. Because what famous chicken chain has two pieces of dark meat chicken for 99 cents? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, why did the white girl in the middle start it out first? <laughs> See, they try to say, they try to say black people only want to like chicken. She's like, Popeyes, Rich! Popeyes! That's right, girlfriend, Popeyes! For $4.32, that's eight pieces of chicken, man. That's a bucket to yeah. feed a family. Yeah. And if you, if you got the kind of woman... That'll put a bucket of chicken in her purse. Oh. <laughs> She'll probably let you put a thermos in there, Joel, right? <laughs> what are we putting in the thermos? We ain't putting Kool-Aid in there. Oh, it's a clean show, so I can't tell you what to put in the thermos, but you can use your mind to figure that out. <laughs> figure that out. <laughs> I want to come back here, so I'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Hey, uh, before I go, I just want to say, um, this has been a pleasure talking to y'all. Uh, it's really cool being from the islands um, and being able to come here and represent. Hope you guys do well in all your studies. You know what I'm saying? Make good grades. What else can I tell you? Um, it's funny because when he was introducing me, he said, I'm, I, I do shows all over the Southwest. I do shows. I've been in the probation office. <laughs> Wick office. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad to be here. All right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring up your headliner. This guy is amazing, all right? I've worked with him at the Improv in Houston. He has performed on HBO. He's performed on Comedy Central. If you YouTube, he's got a list of accolades. I want y'all to start clapping, start clapping, start clapping, start clapping, start clapping, start clapping. Put your hands together for Will Silvitz. <laughs>